What's happening guys? In this video we're going to be continuing our series of videos covering GUI development in Python using specifically PyQt4 and Python 2.7. In the prior video I showed you guys how to create a duplicate window. So for example in Sublime Text uh, if you go to new window you get another copy of the, uh, the prior window. Obviously it doesn't have the same file but same idea um, was shown in the last video. We also covered how to manage the hierarchy of these uh, windows. So in Sublime Text you can see if you close out of one window it doesn't also close the parent window. In our implementation it was more desirable to have the effect where if you close any of the windows all the windows are closed. So I showed you guys how to uh, implement that in Python. Um, in this video we'll be covering um, very basically Q input dialogues um, using the Q message box class, uh, pre-built class in PyQt4, um, which basically has the effect of, um, for example, if I were to hit close on this uh, Sublime Text document and I had something here, it would ask me if I wanted to save the changes to it um, with that little dialog that pops up. And that's what we're going to be implementing today um, using PyQt4. Uh, so to get started here, uh, we can just to our standard imports, same as from the last videos. And uh, like I was saying in the last videos, this is pretty much going to cover everything you're going to need in PyQt. Just these two imports here. If we get to anything more complex, um, I'll obviously change the imports and give you guys some advice on that. But for now, if you're building applications using this framework, I'd recommend just using these two lines of code. Um, now, same as the other videos, obviously we're going to want to get into the main function, so we'll write these two lines here. Um, and then for this part, I'll actually just copy and paste this from one of our prior videos. Uh, let me find something here. Okay. Because um, it's exactly the same. And um, I don't really need to go over the same thing again. Obviously we're just creating a queue application, creating a uh, main window, which if you're already confused by this, we're just going to be creating a class called main window, so that's where that comes from. And then we're calling sys.exec, pretty much, which is executing um, the queue application. And then the main window is sitting inside of that queue application, so that's going to be the thing that's executed. So now I can move on to our uh, actual class here. Um, main window class. We're going to be subclassing the queue widget class once again. This is pretty much the way I create almost everything I do in PyQt4. Create our constructor. Not passing anything extra. In the last video we're, we passed uh, a parent which was uh, set to a default of none value. But in this case we don't really need to maintain any relationships among windows. We only really have one window so it doesn't matter. Um, same line of code here again. I feel like a broken record. Maybe I should just uh, have this code set up before the video. but. It's going to be initializing the underlying code in PyQt4. Um, in this case, we're initializing the underlying queue widget. Um, and here, once again, we're just going to be calling a uh, basically a UI constructor function. So this, the name of this function doesn't matter, but I would just make it something along these lines. If you use camel case, you could just do something along those lines. Uh, just you want something so that anyone reading your code knows exactly what you're doing with this function. <coughs> Um, and then, for this example, we're not really doing anything too complex, so we can just write in something like last video, where we're just creating a 500 by 500 pixel window, um, and then showing it. So now, um, the main logic behind uh, what we're doing in this video is going to be inside of the close event. So we can write in, pass in the parameter of the, uh, the instance, obviously as well as uh, a variable to hold the actual event that's happening. So normally I just call this E. We'll just go with event so that it's more obvious what's happening. <coughs> and now I need to write the code to create the uh, the exit dialog, like I was saying, this right here. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to obviously write down is what we want to be in this uh, little text box right here. So we'll name that exit message and we could just go with are you sure 
you want to exit. Um, and now we're going to be holding the response of the user in uh, just this resp variable. And this is one of the great things about using PyQt4 is that everything is contained in this one line of code. So we're going to be using, like I was saying, the queue message box class. And we're initializing the question function, passing in the instance of main window, as well as a title that we want the, uh, the box to have. So in this case, they use save changes. We could just go with save changes as well. Um, now we're also going to be passing in our exit message to be displayed to the user. And then the next two are q message box dot yes and q message box dot no, which are the two available options to the user. And basically, now after we get a response from the user, um, this resp variable will either be of the type q message box dot yes or q message box dot no. And it's as simple as just checking whether or not it, which one of those it is, and then responding appropriately. So here we can do if the response was um, q message box dot yes, we're going to do something along the lines of self dot close, and then otherwise we just leave the function. Um, but I actually covered this syntax in the last video using self dot close. So this time we're just going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to be accepting the event. Um, and then obviously otherwise uh, we're going to be ignoring the event because the user did not want to close. Okay, so I think that should be it. Um, we could test this out here. We should basically have just a plain UI. Um, and then if we go to hit the exit, we're going to be prompted with this uh, save changes, which obviously there are no changes. This is a very simple application, but um, we could try selecting no, and then it works out how we would expect. You don't actually leave the uh, application. But if we click yes, oh, okay, so there was actually a problem there. Let me, let me change something here. Um, let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, I think I was getting a little bit too cocky here. I think we might just want to do equals key message box dot yes. Um, I always assumed that is was just equal to equal equal, but maybe not. So let's try this now. Okay, we should be able to exit on yes. Okay, yeah. So that works, guys. I would uh, make that change in your code. I'm not exactly sure why that. Uh, wouldn't work, but um, maybe the actual object that resp is is not a key message box that yes, it's just holding that value. Um, either way, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of these in the future, uh, subscribe to my channel. Also, if you guys uh, would like me to create a GitHub repository with the code from each one of these videos, uh, post a comment, let me know. As of now, I don't really have that many viewers, so I, I doubt that would really be much of a problem. And it's pretty simple, especially in this case, just to copy the code from the video. Um, but I think that would be something that would be helpful to some people. So um, that's it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.